Hello and welcome to our session with P18 this morning, um, where we're going to be looking at balancing with three of the pupils and hopefully at home as well, you'll be able to do it. And we're going to talk through different ways that you can do the different activities of balancing um, from your own home. So if we could introduce our three participants from P18. So we've got Molly, James and Liam. Fantastic. If you give everyone a big wave. Hi. Fantastic. We all doing good? We all keeping well? Yeah. 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 Fantastic. Hopefully we're all re re ready to rumble and hopefully um, we're going to be able to improve our balancing from the start to the end of the session and you can do these activities outside of the lesson as well. Okay. So if we can have the first slide up. So what do we need? Um, our participants are already prepped. If you're doing it at home, uh, you need an open space, a drink for when we have our little drinks break so you can keep yourself hydrated. Um, and objects to step over. So it doesn't have to be cones. Um, you can do anything. It could be boxes, it could be bottles. So I'm gonna use different equipment in this session. And then also for balancing purposes, it could be socks, bean bags. I'm gonna even use post-it notes. It could be a book, any objects that you can balance, okay? So if you could flick onto the next slide, we'll look at our learning outcomes and what we're all going to try to achieve. So we're gonna explore balancing in a variety of different ways. And which is a physical side of um, physical aspect of the session. We're going to look to then identify different ways that we can balance, um, which I'm sure our three participants will do a fantastic job at. And then we're going to look at being more confident in being able to do our balances. Okay, so do we all understand that then, Liam and um, Molly and James? You're good with that? Yeah, fantastic, superb. So if we could flick onto the next slide then. So we'll explain how this is going to work. So it's going to be a balancing circuit. So the explanation of it is there's going to be five circuits that we're going to complete. And so we're going to look for some really good quality. And within this, each station will involve, um, or circuit will involve a different a, like type of balance. And then each activity um, will be explained on each slide. So if we go into the first, um, first slide, please. So it is an activity called walking the tightrope, okay? So I'm gonna do a little explanation and a little show of how to do this behind us. I'm gonna ask Liam, Molly and James a few questions, okay? So if we could just put the screen up onto myself, I will show how to put the camera slightly forward. There we go. So, I've got, so I'm using boxes, okay? So I'm here, I'm using boxes. And again, we're gonna be walking the tightrope. So our arms are gonna be out. Okay, nice and far, and as we're walking across, I'm going to move this um, in a bit slightly. Okay, we're walking out ever so slightly, so we're walking really, kept keeping our balance. I'm picking a point straight ahead of me. I'm staying really, really focused, and then I'm going to look to step over the piece of equipment. Okay, and then I'm going to look to step over the last one. But I'm looking ahead. I'm looking where the equipment is. OK, and then I'm also picking that point to be able to stay really focused on the activity. So if we could have a see then how James, um, Molly and Liam get on with the activity at home. So are we ready? So you're picking your point in the distance and then you're looking to step over your pieces of equipment. Good, James. Great work. Well done, buddy. Awesome. Really good work. Great start. Yeah, good work. Really well done. So you first week, can we ever say Molly's getting on? There we go. Good, really, really well done. Now, if you would like to add in a different variation of when you do this, okay, so whenever you step over the equipment, can you then see if you can balance on your one leg for five seconds and then step over? Balance on your own. And that is trying to really extend um, your knowledge, okay, and your ways you're balancing, and that is trying to help you um, progress um, from the first activity. So if we can have a go at that, then James, Liam, and Molly. So when you step over it, can we look to balance? Really good, Liam. Well done. Great balance there. Super. Remember, like I said, you're picking that point that's just directly ahead of you. And then you're looking to balance. Yeah, superb. Really well done. Put a great work. Awesome. Superb. Okay, then. And if we could just hold it there. We could just hold it there. That's fantastic. 
Yeah, great work. So if we could put up our next slide, um, we will progress um, our activity on. So all you need for this activity, you can have um, two cones from one end, um, one end to the other, about five paces apart. So for example, on here, I am going to have my two boxes that I'm going to be using. And then I've also got five pieces of equipment that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to put them on, my one, on the one box. Um, which is just here. So I've put them on top of the one box. I'm going to start at the other end. I'm going to start at the other end, then I'm going to run in. I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to balance it on my head. So link into the balancing. And then I'm going to be again picking a point to focus on. And I'm going to try and take it back um, to my starting point. So let's see how we get on. Okay, so I'm going to start here. Okay, you're running as fast as you can. You'll pick up your piece of equipment. Okay. And then you're going to try and balance it on your head. So you'll place it on your head. So again, with your arms out, you're looking forward. Okay. And then you're going to try and carry it back to your starting point. Okay. And then you're going to see how many that you can get back in a certain time frame. So you can put a time frame on it if you want to, or you can just see how quickly you can get them back. So let's see how we're getting on then. So Liam, James and Molly, how are we getting on? Yeah, big thumbs up. Fantastic. Go on then, Liam. We ready? Off we go. So have you got to balance it, Liam? So balancing it on your head. There we go. One foot in front of the other. So linking into the tight rope, but now we're progressing a bit further because you've got equipment to balance. And there's different ways that you can do it. So there's different pieces of equipment. If you want to do it, you can try and balance the um, equip. You can try and put two pieces of equipment in your both hands and put your hands flat, um, facing the facing the sky. So you've got them both in in both hands facing the sky, um, and then you can try and balance it all the way back. So there's a few different ways that we can do that. So ah, oh, superb. So if you, you or you can progress it on like James is doing there, he's walking backwards as well. So that's even better. That's going to the next level. So if Liam and um, Molly, if you're feeling really confident now, so like we spoke about confidence at the start, you can balance it on your head and you can walk backwards um, like James is doing. Yeah, really good. Well done. Excellent effort. Great work. Good work by everyone. Really good to see you trying different activities. Superb. Okay, this will give you another 10 seconds to explore um, the Robin Hood activity, and then we'll go into our third activity, and then we get a little break where we can have our, have our drink. Okay, then, so if we could put up our next slides, please, that would be fantastic. Okay, superb. So figure, figure of eight is what we are looking at now so we you can do like i said so again linking into balancing and um, the beanbag on our head so you're going to add in some changes of direction so the setup is exactly the same as before you need your two starting points but you're going to do the figure of eight in and out whilst balancing so you're not we're just walking in a straight line you've got to keep moving around as well so i'll do a little demonstration okay just wait for me to come up on the screen so again, I'm balancing it on my head, whatever piece of equipment you've got. But then I'm going to walk around my equipment. It's again, it's going to be in the shape of a figure of eight. Walking around, I'm looking forwards all the time. I'm keeping really, really focused, and I've completed my figure of eight. Okay. So like so the principles are still the same. So we're still trying to do the same stuff. It's still looking forward. It's still staying really focused. And you're still trying to keep your concentration whilst you're doing it. Okay, so let's see how Liam, Molly, and James, let's see how we're getting on at home. So you've got that little bit more um, change of direction this time. Yeah, great work. Good work, James. Superb. So then let's see, let's see how Liam's getting on. OK, and then, the, and then the challenge is if you want when you're doing it at home as well, if you want to see how many times you can complete um, the figure of figure of eight without dropping it, 
um, or you can potentially have little competitions against if you've got brothers, sisters, mums, dads, um, you want to try and have a little bit of a competition against each other, you can also do that as well. Be okay, fantastic. So then Liam, James and Molly is now, it is our half time. So if we could put the half time slide up on the screen. Okay, I've got a few questions whilst having a break. So it's important when you have your break, have a little drink. Keep yourself, um, hydrated. I, I thought you did. I thought you did really, really well in there, and you should be really proud of your efforts. What you've done there. Um, Thank you, Mark. That's all right. No problem. So, what did you? What did you have to do to be successful then, Liam? Just concentrate. Concentration, fantastic. So that's one of the things I said. If you stay concentrated then you're going to be able to um, achieve the balance um, much better. So we'll go now to Molly. OK, so if we could just mute Liam, please, and we'll go to, across to Molly. Um, Molly, uh, how, how did you feel you got on in those activities? Good. You feel you did well? Yeah, I thought you showed some, did some really, really good work in there. So well done. What did you have to do, Molly, did you find to be successful? Where did I say you had to look? Forward. You have to look forward. So you're picking a point potentially. You might pick it in the room. So it might be a um, corner of the room. It might be the corner of the door or the door handle, for example. You pick that point and you're looking forward and keep your focus. Great answer. And I'll go to James just to see how James has got on. James, how do we find that, buddy? Good. And I Good, really fantastic. Went, I went, when I, uh, what was it again? Made it a little bit harder. By closing my eyes. Okay, fantastic. So you've made it even harder. So you challenge yourself really well then by making it harder, by walking backwards as well. And even you went to the extent um, to close your eyes. Fantastic. Yeah. So then what we will do if we can have our we'll have our rest is now over. We're into balance four of five. Okay, so this one is where we're going to be looking at jumping from island to island. Now you can say and you can jump alongside um, those equipment, okay? So I have, I have, um, so you can put me just on the screen. So we can just, so we can see, there we go, superb. So I've staggered different pieces of equipment all across the floor at different distances, and then I'm gonna jump, but as I'm landing, I'm gonna try to be balancing and see if we can stay still and keep our, our balance, okay? so. It's how they have to jump starting from the far end. Okay, I'm jumping as I'm jumping. I'm use my arms to land myself off, bending my knees, and I'm going to jump. Once I've jumped, I'm going to try and land, and I'm looking to keep my balance without falling, falling over. And I'm going to jump to my next island. As I go, it's superb. And last one. Okay, and I've managed to keep my balance all the way. So I stayed really focused. So like we spoke about. Um, throughout, and I've kept myself really stable um, to land the balances from the different islands. So, should we see how our three participants are going to get on at home? So, if you are doing it at home, you can change your distances. Um, you can change your distances in terms of how far you are, or you can do different directions. It doesn't have to necessarily be in a straight line. So, let's see how we get on then, James, Liam, and Molly. Yeah. Yes, Liam, great jump. Good, James, good use of your arms to spring off. Good, well done, superb. Great work by everyone. So they're doing some really good work. They're using their arms to push off, but then they're also staying really focused to land the balance, which is great to see. Good, well done. Great work. James, so make sure when we try and, try and stand, so when we're, when we're um, doing our activity, try and stand upright to do the jump and then jump really spring forward like you were doing just before, a really good effort, okay? There you go, and then, and then yeah, so once you've done that, James, so like that, and then look, spring forwards, okay? Superb work. Good, okay, and if we could just hold it there, then so we'll go on to our last, last activity now, so the layout of the activity is gonna be the exact same. So you're gonna be jumping again from island to island, but this time you're gonna be hopping. So it's just gonna be um, the one 
um, the one you're going to be hopping on your one leg. OK, so the same layout as before. Um, so you're going to be balancing so you can get the, to get the balance first. And um, one leg on your balance. OK, so you just need to set yourselves and then can you try to then jump and hop forward and keep your balance? So it is a challenging activity. OK, so that's why I put it as the last one so we can work towards um, look where we're working towards to try and achieve. OK. Good, great jumping, great hopping there, Molly. Good, James. OK, and then if you want to try something um, different as well and you want to make it that little bit harder, you can try your other leg as well. So you might be sh your right leg might be stronger, so you might want to try um, your left leg, so that's the case with me. So my right leg's slightly stronger, so I'm going to now try to give with my left leg. And being able to land it. And then if you want to go even further, okay, and challenge yourself even further, you can try and hold in a piece of equipment in one of your hands and see if you can keep hold of that equipment um, as you are as you are balancing. So as you're balancing, see if you pop in, but I'm also managing to keep hold of um, a piece of equipment as well. So how we how we got on then? How are we getting on, Liam, James, and Molly? Good, great work, Liam. Well done, superb. Yes, James, great focus. Yes, well done, really good. Excellent effort. Great work, Molly. Well done. Superb. So I've now gone through the diff few different progressions and that now concludes our last activity. So if Molly, Liam and James, if we go have the next slide up for full time, we'll have a little reflection just to see how we thought we got on. Okay, so really, really well done, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed the different um, balances that we've tried to do. So which balances did we try to look at? So Liam, we'll start with Liam. If you could give us one, one of the balances. Hopping. Hopping, fantastic. So the one that you've just done, hopping. Yes, super, uh, well done. We'll go to Molly. So if we could have Molly unmuted. Okay, superb. Molly. Um, what 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 was it apart yes. from Liam's chose hopping? So what other what, what was one of the other activities that we did? Jumping you... from island to island. Yeah, so jumping from island to island, superb. And then we tried to stay really balanced and land on, on the different islands, superb. And James, last one then. Last one. Can we name a different one? Maybe one of the first ones that we did. Ah, oh, superb. What an answer, good man. So we walked along the tightrope looking forwards, keeping focused and keeping our um, balance. So really, really well done on there. Really good answers from everyone. You should all be really proud of yourselves. Did you all enjoy it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Really, really, yeah. really well done. Big thumbs up and a massive thank you to everyone. And hopefully everyone really enjoys the session at home. Well done and thank you. Thank you everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.